Shield is the head of the one and only New York Private Eye Detective Agency. She is a sensible, sophisticated woman who loves to boss her hard-working colleagues around. Amanda always gets to work. Barry Velvet is an eccentric yet witty joker who always says yes to an adventure. She always manages to get in the way of other people and is quite dramatic. In every team, you need a cool, intelligent whiz kid. This is MJ Gadget, an awesome agent, who once even made a walking overboard, though he is a bit of the scary cat. <laughs> the letter arrives at the agency. Dear Amanda Shields, my long lost cousin, Bowie, is this a joke? My name is Oscar Shield, and like you, I'm a detective and love to solve tough and dangerous mysteries. Me too. Hey! I live in the deepest depths of the Amazon rainforest, Widow. I have discovered something incredible. An intelligent human being like you should know how to keep it safe and secret. I have discovered an ancient map buried by our great times eight grandfather, Solomon Clegg. It claims there is a city called El Dorado made entirely of gold. Please meet in secret. Bring the map. Your smashing skills. If anyone finds out where you are heading, your lives will be in grave danger. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it! Yay! With some apprehension, the NYPEDA made their way to the airport and boarded their first flight to Cartagena, Colombia. On our flight, the other passengers looked us up, asked with a mixture of suspicion and amusement, as Barry Velvet did backflips down the aisle. At last we landed, but our high spirits were dampened as we peered out at the dusty, dirty and drap town. A mysterious but alluring invitation arrived today. Barry Velvet picked it up in a bright red envelope from reception. Tomorrow we go to dinner. Food was delicious, but unknown to us, it was spiked with sleeping potion. As we were feeling dopey, someone put hoods over our heads and ushered us into a vehicle. I have a horrible headache. My head is throbbing. After I woke up, I realised I was in a grubby cell that smelled of rotten eggs. And on top of that, I had to clean the gruesome guard's vile smelling underpants. Just when we thought today couldn't get any worse, a huge pit appeared beneath our feet filled with tarantulas and slithering deadly snakes. Today we were rescued. A dark shadow appeared in front of us. It was a young girl and she told us to follow her to meet the wisest man in Colombia. He will tell us about this lost city of gold. Freed, our heroes reached the Amazon River to continue their journey to find the wisest man in Colombia. I'm a little bit afraid of the water, Amanda. You're such a baby. Do we have to? Yeah, we do. Hey, guys, look over there. Ah, uh, I think I'm going to be sick. But Hey, Jason. So I didn't use one of your animals making devices. Please, can you go away, Mr. Snake, because Bowie Velvet just threw up. Sorry. Look, we found a really comfy tree to sleep in at night. Do, do we have to sleep in the tree? Oh, grow up, NJ. It's just like sleeping in a hammock. All I want to do is just go to sleep. Oh, I thought we were walking in circles. Wow, look at those amazing huts. What are you weirdos want? We're here to see the wisest man in Colombia, please. We hear you are the wisest man in Colombia. Yeah? We're looking for the lost city of gold. Take this map, it will lead you to Lake Contradita. Mine now. Seriously? As our heroes enthusiastically began their steep, treacherous mountain climb, which led them to Lake Guatavita. The sinister rattle of snakes taunted them as they clambered up the slopes. 
At last, after a few days, negotiating dangerous mountain pass, they got a peak of Lake Puerto Rico, and they could not believe how beautiful it was. The New York Private Eye Detective Agency had finally reached their destination, and they made their way carefully through the trees, the bark of overhanging branches rubbing against their heads as they squeezed through the dense undergrowth. And all of a sudden, they spotted the wisest man in Colombia, who told them a long story, then he paused and somberly told them there neither is nor never was a place called the Lost City of Gold. Shocked, confused, amazed, they thought of the letter that they had received from Oscar Shields. Dear Amanda Shields, my long lost cousin, Bobby, is this a joke? Wondered why they were kidnapped for nothing and knew they had to discover the truth about him. Let's disguise ourselves so we don't get spotted. Glasses! Hey, what about me? Hey, that's the girl that rescued us. Excuse me, do you know where to find Oscar Shields' house? Yes, I do actually. It's over there. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. Pass me over this stupid door. Great, this is bad. Welcome to your last mission! At least we've lost them now. Ender, you're completely wrong as usual. They're over there. Hurry up. Uh-oh. Our boat is leaking. We need to get back to shore. Kidnapped. After my colleagues and me. Help. I'm not interested. Go away. What? Guys, you're trapped! Nice try, detective, but this is the end! No! You think you can get out of that? I wish I lived longer. Is this a thing out of the Lost City of Gold? You're lying! Our heroes escape and vow never to open another letter again. Well, not for a while at least. <laughs>